Hi, I'm Oren, I'm the Chief Security Officer of Serene Labs and the product owner of the Fini Wallet. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you the use of the passphrase protection of the Fini Wallet. I'm opening the wallet application. Now we will see the regular wallet of the seed, meaning as you can see in here 1k dollars in crypto, in Bitcoin, Ethereum and SRN. I want to switch to the other wallets using the passphrase protection. Clicking on the settings, password protection, opening the safe screen. I'm inputting the regular password of the seed. Now I'm inputting the passphrase, the specific one that I want for the specific wallet. And now the wallet is going to sync the needed accounts for the specific passphrase wallet. So how is it done? As you remember, I have the seed, I have a password, meaning this is the regular wallet. In this wallet I can hide or save a few amounts of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And if I want to divide it to infinite number of wallets, what I need to do is to add an additional password, which is the passphrase. It could have an unlimited amounts of a passphrase, meaning each one of them is creating a different wallet. So in this example, I have in passphrase X, 10 Bitcoin and 50 Ethereum. And in this example, passphrase Y, I have 17 Bitcoin and 1.1K Ethereum. The catch is that this passphrase is not saved anywhere. It's a zero knowledge solution, meaning that even if someone magically tries to uh, hack your device, this passphrase is not saved, meaning you cannot reach the real, the real money that you have and only the regular one. Of course, it will be much more secure, you cannot <coughs> hack it, meaning that you can divide your crypto between infinite number of wallets based on the same seed. The sync is over. Now I'm going to the portfolio. Now I can see that I have only $12 in crypto. Of course, you can have it uh, in other, the opposite way, to have a very few if uh, crypto is in the regular wallet and divide it, the real one in, into an infinite number of uh, wallets based on the same seed with different passphrase. If I go to switch it back and enter the wallet again, I will see the original uh, wallet again with the funds that I already inputted in the wallet. So this is it.